here for my my daughter's girls club and they're trying to raise money for camp so if you could all pitch in that would really help out oh, oh, of course not. Yeah. Oh. Zach how about you Got no money on me oh Randy no sorry Dana I don't eat chocolate Shannon? Uh, no, no, I don't it, need that. I'm it's sorry. nice. No, it's okay. It's high quality. Mm -hmm. Hello, little girl. What oh. are you selling? Well, <laughs> dreams. <laughs> well, I'd like to, I'd like to buy a dream off of you. If really, that's Johnny? All right. Four dollars. Four bucks. Mm. Hey, where's Lucas? Mm -hmm. I heard Lucas got his candy last night. <laughs> oh, someone beat me to it. So what happened to you last night? Ugh. We I missed yet the game of global domination. Well, I'm it's not there to school easy. you. I know, I know. Uh, I had to uh, take Anyways, some... on the train last night? Yeah, but okay, I'm sitting well, this over is there, why right? I wasn't here. Is I, I got uh, an announcement. I have uh, I picked the best man. Oh, yeah. congratulations. Yeah, it's it's, yeah, it's that's, Tim. That's great. Tim, Agnes's brother. Awesome. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, it was hard, but she's happy. But, yeah, she's, she's a good girl. The Americans do whatever they want, eh? I know. They do. They make up their own. Next thing, they're going to be coming up to Canada, going, "Oh, they got weapons of mass destruction up there, eh?" Who knows? You know, but making stuff up like that. I'll be like, "These are the only weapons of mass destruction they're going to get if they come up here." You know what I'm saying? It's just to get people on the bandwagon. Whatever it takes, they totally justify boom. it, right? Exactly, Dana. Boom, boom. And that's just free in Iraq. Right there. Like, please. Right there. Damn. You all right, buddy? Hey. You seem pretty like wailing today. No, yeah, I went to went to uh, doctors today. I saw Doctor Winston, eh? Yeah. He's trying to give me bad news. They eh? telling me I got high blood pressure or something like that. That sounds like good news to me, eh? Then he starts telling me I gotta quit smoking and one ear out the other. No problem, right here at all the time at home, right? And then he starts telling me I gotta eat healthier, eh? Like eat healthier. All right, Doctor Winston, what are you a chef now? You look like a doctor to me, and I, now you're coming at me like a chef. I'm like, I eat bread. I eat bread and meat at every meal, eh? He's like, you ever hear a salad? I'm all like. Chicken salad, all right. Uh, egg salad, bacon salad, right? It's like you ever heard of uh, you start eating uh, toad, toad food or something toad like that? I'm like, did it move around? He's like, no. I'm like, if it didn't move around, it ain't going down, right? The McLaughlins were raised on the backs of hogs, eh? I try to eat pork at almost every meal, eh? Some people are like, oh, my body's a temple. Mm -hmm. I'm all like, my body's a pig farm, all right? If your body's, you know, my body's a pig farm, all right? You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? I'm like, you want to know why I got high blood pressure? One word, Murray. My boss, Murray, eh? Total turd, eh? Turd walking Anyways, around. And I'm coming back from the bathroom last night, mm -hmm. and I see Dana sitting by herself. Yeah. So, uh, you know, I casually strike up a conversation with her. Turns out she's having problems designing her CD mm. cover, right? Okay. So I sit down, I give her a little bit of advice. Yeah. Next thing I know, we have a date on Saturday. Oh, right on. Good for you, man. Yeah, man. Anyways, we're going to a restaurant. Good for you. Like, just the two of us. Very cool. Can Very you cool. That? Right on. Good for you. See what I noticed? Uh, yeah, you guys weren't you weren't sitting together today. Oh, you, know? you know what? I figured. You know, this just happened yesterday. Yeah. I don't want to seem too eager. That's smart. Sit that's over smart. here with my buddy. Very cool. You know? Very cool. That's that's that what cool. You, that's what you have to do. You have to show yeah. that you know you're not interested, because okay. uh, you don't want to seem desperate or anything, right? No, no, exactly. They hate that. So we, what you got to do is you know what you should do. What? You should be really cold and indifferent during the date. So you, like during like, the date. During the date, like you just don't care, right? Okay. Should, you know, um, you know, just try to be a little bit confrontational sometimes. You know, just to really? show that you're not going to be your lap dog or anything, right? And uh, is she paying, or are you paying for the dinner? Well, she said that she was taking me out. So, right. I right. mean, you know, Dana is a very strong, strong-willed woman. I know. What you should do, really, to impress her, order the most expensive thing on the menu, 
and okay. it'll show that you know you respect the fact that she's paying for the meal. You're not going to order a salad, and I think you know she's yeah. a vegetarian, right? Yeah. But you eat meat, so you should just you should eat like. Veal, you should have veal, just veal? to show that you're strong in your convictions. Okay. You know, Dana, this Huntington's disease thing that my mom had, I swear, it's affecting the whole family. It's disrupting my life. Yeah. I don't know, I just, I can't deal with her mood swing. One minute she's depressed, then she's confused, okay? Then she's crying, then she's fine. I just, I can't keep up with it. I don't know, she's living with Simone right now, and you know what, honestly, it's, that's fine. I don't care, I just can't deal. What, what is your problem? Can you keep still? Sorry, sorry, need a smoke. What do you mean you need a smoke? Didn't you just finish telling us about the doctor's appointment and your high blood pressure and all kinds of problems that, like? Yep. So, why don't you just quit? Nope, can't do it. What do you mean you can't do it? Don't wanna do it. You know, it's, I'm sorry, but it's people like you. My mother, she didn't choose to get sick. You know what I'm saying? You choose to get sick. You choose to die every wind time. Wind them up, wind them up. Here oh they my go, God. here Pack they go on the non-smokers. I like smoking, I love smoking. It's what I do, it's part of my life. It's been my buddy for years. There it is, boom, I love it. Well, it's All gonna right. be the death of After you. You need to show a little I smoke. discipline. After intimate relations with my wife, I smoke. When I wake up in the morning, I have a smoke with my coffee. When I'm up north fishing, <sighs> best thing in the world, eh? The smell of the wild, eh? Fishing for picks. Got a smoke on my hand, eh? The smell of the wild. Got that fish smell on my fingers, eh? From handling pickerel. Oh, Cigarette. Disgusting. Love that smell of breeze coming in. Boom. Love it. People tell me, people tell me what to do. Makes me want to do the opposite, eh? Okay. That's a brain trick, eh? It's like it's called psychology, eh? You tell me what to do, do the opposite, right? Mm -hmm. Maybe if people told me to smoke, then maybe I wouldn't, right? Try it. Tell me, go, tell me to smoke right now. Johnny smoke. Mm -hmm. I'd love one. Uh, I'd love one already go now. Ooh. Didn't work that time, right? But you know what I mean, right? What was that? What? What was that? What was what? This, that, you sold one chocolate bar to a train full of people. What is that? Well, everybody seemed to It's pathetic. Pete, it, for you can, it's chocolate bars for a girl's club. Exactly. Enough. Liz, I don't need your sympathy. Give me the bag. What? Give me the goddamn bag. Look, okay? How many you got in here? Nine. You should be able to sell all of these. And in fact, I'm going to show you how. To I, who? Look, I'm on a mission to mercy here, okay? I'm going to sell these to this compartment. Okay? Yeet. A, B, C. You know what that stands for? A, always B, B, C, closing. The deal. Liz? No, don't close it on me. What's wrong? You're too cheap to buy no, chocolate I'm bar? Not too cheap. Don't try all that stuff on me, okay? I wrote the book on that stuff. Oh. You ever been a girl guide? Yeah, I was a girl guide. It's funny, you don't think those organizations are important to help young women learn about responsibility and leadership? Right, I'm buying one, but not because of your crap, because I want you to be quiet. Okay? So I can read the newspaper. I'll take two, keep the change. Oh. Thank you very much. Very good. So four years ago, I quit cold turkey, right? And I felt good. And I've sort of started off again, and I feel like crap. Yeah, well, I'm not feeling so good right about now, and I'm not smoking, right? When I get off this train, I'm gonna smoke, and I'm gonna feel a lot better, right? It lowers my blood pressure. That's what I should have told Dr. Winston if I thought of it at the time. Right? Whatever. And your wife's gonna enjoy being a single mom, eh? Oh. Mm-hmm. Harsh. You know, she's right. Before you know it, you're gonna end up in the hospital, right? With emphysema, lung cancer. Who's gonna pay for that? <laughs> The system. Hey, both my right. parents smoked, all right? Mom and dad smoked, all right? Mm -hmm. My mom had a great life, hey? Started smoking from the time she was 11, hey? Tons of energy, right? And her philosophy was always like, just go for it, you know? Just have a good time, live day to day, don't worry about the future, go for it, eh? And I carry that with me, eh? I'm just going for it. Just go for it? You know, you have a pretty little smile now, but before you know it, all them teeth are gonna be all gray, <laughs> right? Dingy, have that smoker's mouth. Don't care, nasty. I don't care. You know, oh it's easier, goodness. it's easier if you have somebody, you know, you're quitting alongside with. How about you and me? We'll quit together. You do that? Mm -hmm. You do that for me. Mm -hmm. And me. You are a good-hearted person, Dana. You are a sweet, sweet girl. Mm -hmm. But no, no, can't do it, no. Guy Lafleur smoked. Guy Lafleur smoked. It's good enough for Guy. Good enough for me. Guy Lafleur. Not to mention, you know, you stink. Yeah, you stink of nicotine. I get on the train and I know exactly where you're gonna be. I can smell you before I see you. Well, some you know women what? find that small attractive. If he doesn't want to quit, he's he's not gonna. 
He has to want it for himself. Boom. Well, so the long and the short of it is, you know, vomit's very, very hard to clean off crinoline. Oh. Man, um, you've had every bad dating experience I can think about. You are engaged, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. yeah. How did you uh, hook that up? Oh, hey, fellas, how you doing? Oh, well, excuse me. Sorry. How you doing? Oh, Randy. <laughs> you see me? Here, have a sniff. Yeah, you don't, uh, have a sniff. I, I'm allergic to chocolate, actually. Come on now, I don't can't. play that game with me. Uh, it's not a have game. Have a bite. Have a bite. Go ahead. Hey, you I, want one? Yeah, it'll actually right kill on. me. Randy, come on. Don't, don't well, be ridiculous about it. Come on, what are you, a misogynist? No, 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 no. Uh, okay, I'll take two then. Good, let's uh, go. Cough it up. Two, uh, well, how much? Yeah, I don't have any money. So can you... Uh... Yeah, just spot them. Come on, you guys are friends. Uh, you okay, you never okay, gonna pay have, uh, can you give me one of these and one of those. That's for him. That's okay, two. right on. Thanks, fellas. He did it again. Oh. He sold another one. He is really ABCing her. Oh, I'm sure he is ABCing her. Yeah, he's got, he's got all the lines going, all the great tricks. Yeah, that's oh yeah, good. that's just what I like a salesman to manipulate me into buying something. That's I love that. Or guilt me, guilt me into buying something. What are you, you know, talking about? I am all about? for making a buck, but I don't like any of those strategies. They just they drive me nuts. He's just what do you going mean? around manipulating people. Well, no, he's just selling. So no, he's girl, not just selling. Like this summer, Mervish is not just selling tickets, he's manipulating people into buying them. He's closing the Lion King in September. What? Yeah. Are you kidding? You didn't know this? No! Oh my god. Doug and I are gonna take the kids we've been promising them forever. I See, this is, this is exactly what I'm talking about. He's creating a false sense of urgency by saying, we're closing in September. Ooh. So all the Americans will rush in despite of SARS and buy tickets. He's creating this spin. He's saying he's a liar, that's... No, I'm not saying he's a liar, he, but he did say that he's creating an urgent and compelling reason for tourists to come to Toronto. Don't worry about SARS, but come and see the Disney musical that's closing. It's just manipulative. I'm, I'm all for business, and Mervish has done great things, but I, I just find it very manipulative. Ladies. Excuse me. Romani. There we go. One for you. And one oh, no, for no, no, you. no. I didn't want this oh. chocolate. She came around. I can... said no. Do you know how much crap are in these chocolate bars? You want to know what's crap, girls? There's a grown woman standing up on a train and having to sell this stuff for her extremely shy daughter. You know? The girls' club? It's going to benefit a young woman like that. What are you, the chocolate police? What are you, cheap? It's four bucks, okay, guys. You're going to help right. a bunch all of right, little girls right, out. Right. I mean, come on. Right. Dumb and dumber over there, bought a pair. You guys can't. Hey, I only have a 10. Do you have change? Yeah, sure. Exact change. What, I'm going to rip you off? Well. I'm going to rip you off six bucks? Mm -hmm. Give me a break. This is my charitable work for the day team. What's in this, anyway? Two, four. Why is it so heavy? There you go. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Enjoy. I'm not going to eat this. It's <laughs> terrific. Now, were you watching? Were you paying attention? Well, yeah, it was incredible. You were really ABCing them. You can do it too. <laughs> A I D A. A. Attention. I, interest, D, decision, A, action. That is incredible, honestly. What? Well, there's only 32 here. It and, well, nine times four is 36, right? So we're missing four dollars. What, 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 what are you saying? See how much he? No, maybe you took a commission? Well, no. No, I did not take a commission. Well, why don't you just top it up? And then it's just four dollars. Give me that. Let so, me count it. Well, I know how to count. Let me. I'm not putting in four dollars. Someone, someone has stiffed us. Someone well, has stiffed you. Well, just top it up. Someone stiffed the girl. Well, I know. Okay, excuse me, okay? What? Well, it's, a, it's not Excuse me, ladies and gentlemen. Oh. Can I have your attention, please? I'd just like to draw your attention to a certain point here, which is that um, this hardworking, working class mother of many Three. has been working hard oh. to try to raise money for her girls' club. Some, no, let me finish. Somebody in this train has stiffed her and stiffed the girls' club four bucks, okay? So, one of you guys. You know, whoever that may be, 
I'm gonna sit back down okay. and I just ask you, Jesus, I would just sorry. ask you to help this desperate woman out, yeah. okay? Come down, give me the remaining four dollars and we can move on, okay? I'm ready when you are. Yes, sir. You're the boss, Murray. All right, see you tomorrow. Yep. My boss, Murray, he wants this 60 year old guy to work on the roof tomorrow. This guy's a bit of a drinker, too. I don't want it on my head when he falls off the roof. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Then I said, hey, Murray, are you going to uh, get those portable toilets cleaned out? He's like, oh, yeah, 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 you know, sometime next week. I'm like, sometime next week? It's already been two weeks, right? And some of these guys, they eat meat sandwiches, all right, every day for lunch. You know, that stench could kill a kill an elephant. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to go in there anymore. <laughs> Jesus, Murray. I'm going to go to the bathroom. I'm not stepping foot in that bathroom after Lucas's rendezvous in there yesterday. Yesterday, uh... Sick. Excuse me. Brenda? Sorry. You gonna be much longer? Oh no, I'm just grabbing him off of the tape. Alright. We're not home yet, folks. Oh, my God. Okay, I've had enough. Just to let you know, I'm doing this for Brenda, and not because you intended it. Honesty is the best policy. So just tell me, please. All right, you asked for it. We met at my uncle's funeral. We weren't close or anything. I hadn't seen him in 20 years, but a couple years ago he'd passed away, and I was up in Ottawa doing a conference, and my mom called, and she said, you know, your uncle's passed on, so you have to come down for the funeral. So I drove down as fast as I could, but I ended up being late, and I didn't have a chance to change out of my, uh, my suit. I had a blue suit on instead of a black suit, so I ended up just going straight to the funeral home. And uh, I got there, and I realized I didn't know, you know, what, what room uh, the funeral service was in, so I just started, you know, walking around, and I picked one room at random and I opened the door and it was filled with Korean people. So I figured, well, it's gotta be it, right? So I came and I sat down, looking around. I don't recognize anybody, but I figure that's okay because it's a funeral, right? You don't see a lot of people. And up at the front was Agnes. And, uh, you know, she looked gorgeous. She was like the most beautiful woman I'd ever seen. And uh, I knew I had to talk to her. So I got up and I went up and started talking with her, saying, you know, I'm very sorry you know, for, for your loss and my loss as well. And, uh, you know, she thought it was really great that I was wearing a blue suit, you know, first of all, because I was, you know, she called me uh, innovative. I, you know, I was going against a trend by wearing blue. And I thought it was really cool that she noticed it. So while she's talking to me, I look over her shoulder at the, at the, the corpse, and uh, it's not my uncle. <laughs> it's like somebody, I have no idea who it is, so I'm in the wrong spot, first of all. So uh, I gave her my phone number, uh, my cell phone number, and she invited me out for coffee right afterwards she said let's let's get away let's have some coffee mm -hmm. but she wanted to change first right because she'd just gotten in from paris she hadn't slept in 35 hours she wasn't feeling fresh so i drove her back to her apartment and i was waiting outside she went upstairs to change and i waited and i waited and i waited for five hours yeah she had <laughs> fallen asleep while she was changing you know she just sort of lying down to rest and she fell asleep so i get this phone call on my cell phone and she's really apologetic she feels really really bad and I said, well, I'm still downstairs, so if you want to have dinner, let's go. And she thought it was great. She came downstairs and she looked at me and she said, you know, the fact that you're still here shows me that you're the man that I want to marry. And, you know, one thing led to another and... Really? Yeah, Millie. Was Vanilli. So <laughs> hey, Pete. I know you guys stiffed me, okay? I know you did. One of you, one of you guys stiffed me, so... You know, what, on the chocolate For house? the girls' club. Come on, guys. Like, let's not play any games here. Just give me the money. <laughs> I... Did you not pay him? Well, I did. You, I think I overpaid you. Randy, you, I, this does not look good on you, okay, man? You've got a lot of money. You, you're you're <clears> stiffing <throat> some girls. I mean, why don't you kick them while they're down? Come on. I never. Oh, kick. Randy, let's let's just pay it, okay? Yeah. Let's come just on. pay it. It's for Brenda. That's for Brenda. Good point. Okay. 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 Sorry. Can I borrow two dollars? Oh, 
Excuse me? There you are. How you doing? You okay? Oh yeah, fine. Just Great. needed some silence. For the record, I know I gave you four dollars, but whatever. Good girl. Thank you. Brenda, 30. Oh. 32, 34, 36. Perfect. Oh, it's all of it. Hey, that well, wasn't so bad, great. was it? Oh, that's great. You sold them all. That was great, You Pete. got a problem? I can fix it. Oh. All right? Well, well, you really know your business, huh? Hmm. He sure is in business. ABC. <laughs> I think you ripped me off. What, Pete? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I think... I don't think he'd do that. It, I think he did. This, sure? this is all I have left. Really? From $20. Can I borrow that? No. You... Very funny. Yeah. Stupid. There go the piano lessons. Yeah, someone needs to give you a stupid award, all right? Excuse me? Well, you can be put up in the running with Mel Lastman and George W. Bush. Haven't you heard about this? You can win an award for stupidity now. Well, I think you can, yeah. Playing with fire, don't you hear? Hey, I'm just saying. I, I'm not necessarily thinking you're going to win. But maybe nomination is good. Thank you. Thank you very much. Hello. Yep, hey baby snakes, how you doing? Okay, 2% or homo. Yeah, you got it. Sure, put her on. Hey Mariah. Hey, it's Dada. Yeah, Dada. Love you. I, hello. 